Alright. Uh, let's get going. I saw something. It should be just across the street. Report? Not a report. Estelle, Joshua, how did your meeting go with the reporter from the Liberal News? Did you get any valuable leads or information? Well, Joshua, explain the details of Niles' findings to Elman. So, 2nd Lieutenant Lawrence is part of a Jaeger Corps. Or more specifically, the Jaeger Corps known as Jester. First I've heard of that name, definitely. I'd best look it up. Do the Guild and Jaeger Corps even work together? Not at all. If anything, we're consider, uh, one, we consider one another to be business rivals. We make it our business not to interfere in matters of state, you see. Whereas Jaegers uh, largely revel in such matters. They're often employed in border disputes and have some quite opposing viewpoints with us regarding the safety of the common man. They don't sound very nice. So I take it there's no chance of getting any information on this. I wouldn't say no chance. With a bit of cloak and dagger, I might be able to find the information you seek. It would take several days to gather the necessary intel, however, so you wouldn't have it before the championship. Is that alright? Championship championship. This has nothing to do with the competition, so yeah, if you please. Thank you, Alnan. Also, regarding the Colonel's hunt for Princess uh, Claudia's future husband, we've uncovered a few uh, morsels of information which may have some connection. Uh, okay. A member of the Imperial Royal Family will be arriving in Grandsville during the Queen's birthday celebration. We don't know their name, but we do know this is the first time someone from the family has come to Liberal since the war ten years ago, so this is fairly significant news. I see. You're right that it does seem connected with talk of Princess Claudia's marriage. I don't actually know a thing about the Imperial Royal Family. I mean, the only Imperial I've ever met is Olivier. The Princess uh, has just celebrated her 16th birthday. It seems much too early for her to be married. I suspect there may be politics at work here. Whoa, 16? Jeez, we're only 16 ourselves. It is the appropriate age for a young lady to make her debut in high society. But unless we reverted to much more repressed time, it is much, much too soon for marriage. Indeed, as I said, I, th I suspect there is a political mo motive uh, to, to this push for a wedlock. And finding that motive will no doubt prove to be a most valuable endeavor. Gotcha! we can earn, uh, that invite to the castle, we'd be able to investigate much more easily. Then we need to secure a win in tomorrow's championship. Hmm, as dangerous as this may be, I've got something for you here. Grandsel's sewer key B. I wonder when we were getting that. What the heck is this? The sewers. Uh, we always keep a few on hand at the capital branch. Never know when they might come in handy. This one should open one of the Axis grates near the Grand Arena. There are some pretty strong monsters living down there, so I figured it might make for a suitable training ground. Bring it! We could really to uh, we could totally use the warm-up. Thank you, Alman. I'm just doing my job. Make sure you don't head down there without some backup, though. If it's just the two of you, you toast. We'll head down with Zinn and Olivier after we meet up with them tomorrow. Oh. Why are we late? We should probably get back to the hotel. Oh. Is it Niall? No, some guardsmen. Oh, what's going on? We're on patrol. Nighttime patrols have been increased as part of the counterterrorism measures. So it's best to avoid going out after 9 o'clock, if, if at all possible. You two should go on home. 
Don't you think that's a little obnoxious? What if you need to go out after 9 o'clock? It's the higher-ups uh, who make the dis decisions, miss. Sorry to cause any trouble, but everyone has to abide by the rules. By the way, where is it that you two live? We're staying at the hotel on the north block. We'll be there for the duration of the martial arts competition. Hmm. Hold on a second. I could have sworn I've seen you two somewhere before. Hey! These kids are in the tournament. You know, now that you mention it. Oh, were you guys in the audience? <laughs> well, we were on security detail. That match today was pretty incredible. Tomorrow's the championship, no? We'll escort you to the hotel so you can rest up for your big fight. Um... Very well, we accept. <laughs> Is this a trick? No? Um, thanks for escorting us. We appreciate it. You've got to be kidding me. We're big fans of yours. We're all in the same, uh, army, but I don't know. Those special ops types, uh, just rub me the wrong way for some reason. No kidding, I just don't get it. Uh, what goes through their heads? Don't you think, uh, talking like this is a little disrespectful of Colonel Richard, though? Well, that's why we're putting so much faith in your, uh, participation. Good luck with tomorrow's match. <laughs> thank you. We'll do everything we can. I suspect some foul play going to be coming up. <sighs> this is all kind of complicated, isn't it? I don't know those... Uh, I don't think those guys know a thing about the Colonel's plot. They just... Uh, they seem to think the Intelligence Division are just regular soldiers. Whatever info comes down uh, the chain of command, they accept as the truth. Well, I'd hate to make anim enemies of them since they are rooting for us and all. Regardless of anything else, it'd be uh, wisest not to stir up trouble with the rank and file soldiers. What do you say we just uh, we stay in our room tonight and just rest up? Okay. All the saves. Uh, which room are we? Nope. Hey, isn't that... You should get some rest for tomorrow's match. Keeping yourselves fit and ready for anything is an important part of being a... Br yep. No one in here. Alright. Uh-oh. Do you hear something? Be unalerted when we go inside. Be ready for a fight if things don't look right. Huh? I think we've got a trespasser. There might be an uh, explosive set, so be careful. Wait, you're kidding, right? I need you to do exactly as I tell you. No questions. If you'd rather stay out here, that's fine with me. No way! I'm fine. Let's go inside. All right. Oh. Looks like he got away. Well, that's strange. Don't sense that anyone's been in here. Nor does it feel like there have been any traps set. You can seriously tell that kind of thing? I guess this is all that was left behind. What? A letter? Joshua broke the seal of the letter. Tonight, at the stroke of ten, come to the cathedral. Please, tell no one of this. And that's it? In what cathedral? A huge church over in the West Block? It's already almost 10 o'clock now. Hmm, well it sure sounds suspicious, but nothing venture, nothing gained. What do you think? Should we go for it? Absolutely not. What was that for? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Look, didn't the... Uh, those soldiers just say that uh, they were going to reinforce tonight's patrols. You can bet they'll uh, be keeping close watch on the West Block, too. Oh, right. Still, I hate to just pretend we never got it. I'll go by myself, then. Huh? It's easier for one person to stay hidden than two. I shouldn't have any real trouble getting to the cathedral unnoticed. 
Listen, if, I, if all I'm doing is scooping out the situation, I can handle it on my own. I just need you to stay here. Hey! Huh? I'm no less a bracer than you are. I can handle myself and I won't slow you down. Your silver tongue's got nothing, uh, not gonna work on me this time. Estelle, that's not what I meant. I know it's not that I don't, you don't trust me. I can tell you're worried about me, or more that you're worried for me. What are you, what are you not telling me? How can you tell that I'm keeping something from you? I'm closer to you than just about anyone, Joshua. There's nothing you can keep from me, not for very long anyway. I'm impressed. Huh? Alright, if you want to come with me, I won't try and stop you. It's almost ten now, though, so we have to hurry. Oh, okay. But I want you to promise me something. If anything goes wrong, you do ex exactly as I tell you. One wrong move could be fatal. Okay, I promise. Let's get a move on, then. Bum bum bum. I'm definitely saving for this. Because I feel like there's going to be a... S We're going to have to do some sneaking. Oh! Yep, here we go. It looks like there are patrolling. If any of those soldiers spot us, we'll probably get led back to the hotel. We need to study their movements and take whatever chances we get to pass them undetected. Okay. Oh, they, they zoomed the camera out for this, too. Can't see anything. He's going to go around that huge square. That guy seems to be stationary, so south way is not going to happen. Let this guy pass. There are two guys over there. There's a guard over there. Hmm. We want to get west. Can we go through one of the buildings to get there? You know, we either have to take another, uh, go through the building just south of us. Or go through the north. That's going to be difficult, though. There are guards all over there. There are guards all over there, too. Oh, shoot. Follow behind him slowly. Let him pass by. Cathedral. How are we gonna? Oh, gonna go through here. Oh, shoot. Anyone here? History Museum. Go through here. I think. No. Alright, so. There's gonna be a lot of cutting here. Uh, cause. I read up that this segment can actually take away BP. I want all of that BP. Oh, shoot. It's one busy area. The arena seems to be unguarded. Oh, there's someone there. Come on, don't... Okay, good. He's going back and forth. Oh, crap. He was alone. Make a break for it. Alright, we're on the south side of the south block. Can I... Yes, I can. Good. Make it easier. Yeah, so I don't know exactly if this is the area which takes away BP, but, uh, 
We're going to play this rather safe than sorry style. Get in. Still not there. How much further to the cathedral? <sighs> Quite a ways away. That's a no. So down the stairs it is. Someone coming there. Follow behind, follow behind. I cannot see anyone. Go up the stairs. And we should have made it. Grand Soul Cathedral. Only one, uh, one loss. That's cool. All right, we made it. Stay focused, Estelle. I'll go in first. Stay close. Okay. Alright, what kind of trap are we, do we have here? I'm sorry, Estelle. I guess I misunderstood. Huh? Ha, huh, you came after all. You came after all. Oh, it's the nun. <clears throat> you. Hey, aren't you the nun from before? The one who got attacked on the scenic route? Thank you for what you did back there. I assume you got my message. That letter was yours? But why would you do something so secretive like just to say thanks? Ah, uh, now I get it. It was her all along. Huh? You're very observant, Joshua. Pardon me then, allow me to get more comfortable. Oh, snap! What? It is. It's Julia. Julia Schwartz. Lieutenant Julia Schwartz, commander of the Royal Guardsmen, at your service. It's been a long time, you two. I knew you'd come. It's been... It's nice to see you again, Lieutenant. Last time was back in Ruan, right? Yes, it was. It hasn't been that long, but it feels like ages. Hey, hold on a second. Why are you in that getup? And why'd you call us here? I'll answer your questions one at a time. First, the clothes. The Septian Church has a long and deep ties with the royal family. Colonel Richard's little conspiracy has us on the run, and they've helped us stay hidden within the city. Oh, okay. The answer to your other question, why I called you here. If you win the final match tomorrow, you'll get invited to that dinner party at the castle, right? What I need you to do is get in touch with Her Majesty once you get inside. I realize that it's a selfish request, but since we're basically fug fugitives, there's no way for us to make contact. You're the only hope we have. Well then, this is kind of unexpected. Actually, we're participating in the competition specifically to, in hopes of seeing the Queen anyway. What? Joshua explained the request that Professor Russell gave him during the Lyston Fortress incident. Really now? Almighty Adios, thank you for your gift most sacred. In that case, I have only one favor to ask of you. When you speak to Her Majesty, heed her counsel. Of course! That was the plan from the get-go. That non-involvement rule still applies even in a situation like this. But we'll do everything we can. I'm grateful. Please, take this with you. Julia's letter. What's this? Give this to the head maid, Hilda, and she'll know that uh, you've spoken to me. Her Majesty is probably under very heavy guard by the special ops men. But you can trust Hilda. Uh, with her help, you may be able to speak with Her Majesty. Huh. So, she sounds like a heck of a lady. Got it. We'll talk to her. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pathetic, isn't it? Huh? I was deceived and thereby failed to the one I was supposed to protect at all costs. And this happened not after, long after I swore that I would give my life to safeguard Her Majesty from harm. You can't imagine how helpless I feel having to depend entirely on another's help. <clears throat> you 
really shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I hate to say this, but there is a chance that we'll lose tomorrow's match. <laughs> I'm certain that you'll do just fine. That Calvardian martial artist is extremely skilled. And you are both the children of Colonel Cassius Bright. You mean you knew our dad too? It's not without reason that he uh, was known as the finest swordsman in all the royal army. The divine blade at that. Before he retired from service, I had a chance to be trained uh, by him when he was a martial art instructor at the military academy. If not for him, I would not be nearly as skilled as I am. I can't believe that. Dad's never used anything but a bow staff. I guess he must have given up the sword when he decided to become a bracer. His goal wasn't to kill his enemies. He wanted to improve himself and help those weaker than he. That's why he chose the bow staff as his weapon, or so I imagine. Really? I didn't know that my use of a staff had that kind of significance. I'm sure he hoped uh, that you inherit that same kind of uh, mindset. I think he'd be proud of you. Joshua. Colonel Cassius trained both of you. I have all the faith in the world that you, you'll win tomorrow's match. <laughs> hearing that, uh, hearing you say that almost makes me think you're right. We'll put everything we have into it. Uh oh. Pardon us. This is the. Grand Soul City Guard. Due to the terrorist threat, we will now be patrolling the main facilities. I apologize for the lateness of the hour, but do you mind if we have a look inside? Crap. Quite all, quite all right, thank you. Just a moment, please, and I'll open the door. There's another door at the back of the altar room. You can get outside from there. Okay. Please be careful. Ah, oh, man. Wait, we're in the East Block. And why are we just hanging outside? Shouldn't we be going back to our rooms as soon as possible? Well, we managed to avoid the patrol so far. It doesn't look like there are any soldiers this way. Yeah, I'm not sensing anyone. I guess the night patrols are finally done. Let's rest for a moment here, and then head uh, back to the hotel. Okay. Ah, uh, so much is going on, it's starting to give me a headache. I'll bet. I never uh, would have imagined it to be Lieutenant Schwartz waiting for us at the cathedral. Wait, so... She wasn't who you were expecting to find there? Could it be... You were thinking it'd be someone you've known before? Well... Oh. Sorry, forget I said anything. Gotta remember the rules. Estelle. I won't ask you anything about before we met until you're ready to tell me. I try to be careful, but sometimes it just slips my mind. Still, I, I think you've gotten a little stronger during our travels. Huh? It's overwhelming to think about all the people around us, each and every one of them living his or her own life, all under the same sky. And every person you meet has a personality and history. A story to tell. Every one of them is just like us, living day by day. Sometimes I just have to remind myself that no one acts without cause. Nothing happens without a reason, or a motive, or an excuse. And it's only when I remember that, uh, that, that I start to feel like I might uh, be able to reclaim the parts of me I've lost. Joshua? I'm probably just fooling myself. Tricking myself into accepting things I can't change. But even so, I'm grateful for having someone with me. Sky, Dad, most of all, you. Joshua! So, I promise. Once this whole matter is settled, and if Dad comes back safely, I'll tell you everything there is to know about my past. Really? Really. With the stars as my witness. Okay, then. We have ourselves a deal. Estelle? All my gloom's gone uh, fluttering away. Because once you've told me what 
uh, you've got to tell me, then I'll tell you what I've got to tell you. Uh, what? Oh, wait, is that, uh, is this about, uh, that thing you've had on your mind? Yep. <laughs> Gonna have to psych myself up for it. Psych yourself up? Is it really something so dramatic? I mean, if it's that important, I really don't mind hearing about it now. Absolutely not. It's a delicate matter, and timing is crucial. Though, I guess the situation does feel kind of right. Uh, but still, no dice, not yet. I don't get you sometimes, Estelle. I swear, you seem like you're ready to take on anything now. All because we've got uh, a big talk planned. It makes no sense. Of course I'm ready. Ain't no way I'm letting uh, letting those uh, guys keep me from this talk. I'm gonna show those special ops types how to how a touch of a girl power can ruin the whole their whole day. Ruin their. <laughs> you really are your father's daughter. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You better not be complaining, uh, comparing me to a middle-aged man. Yeah, I guess you're right. Somehow, I think we're going to do just fine tomorrow. Oh, that sound. I've been looking forward to it. Yesterday was genuinely awful. I returned to the embassy overfull of spirit when those tiresome guards saw fit to stop and cast a uh, flaming, stinking uh, disparagements at me. They've tightened security at night, supposedly for anti-terrorist purposes. Were you two okay? Yes, we were able... To, we went to bed rather early, so we didn't have any problems. And Elnin uh, lent us something that might really give us an edge. Estelle explained that Elnin... I uh, had loaded them the spare key to the Grand Soul Sewers. Now that should come in handy. He's a young one, but he's got a real spark to him. He always seems to know what you need and when you need it. So, what do you say we check out the sewers this morning? That gate is just north of the arena. Well, if it's uh, for the banquet, we could muster up one more huzzah. Okay. Oh, real quick. That was a lot, uh, so yeah, we're saving. And now we're going to go to the guild. Because I know, because we got a uh, sun for the west, now we have sun for the east. A ferocious monster known as a bonefish has been spotted, roving the east block of the sewers. Got it. Alright, so the East Sewers. I've been there. But where it's located is a little... Like, I've been to the door. There it is. Top right of this map. Oh, man. That was something, huh? Julia Schwartz was that nun. So, was she planning to meet us where she did? Or maybe she knew, like, Zint... She was probably going to try and get in contact with Zinn, or at least stay hidden for a while. Alright, so we've got the, uh, we've got the request, so this should be, if I read that right, the last of the Bracer Guild stuff for the game. Oh god, so... Alright. So yeah, now they're regular enemies. Monster in a box! Oh god, that's a lot. Oh, thank god he wasn't- no one was close enough for that critical. Alright, uh, go ahead. Psych yourself up. Distend! And then... Joshua... We'll flicker, but flicker who? They're getting close. 
Alright. Let's go with... Stone Impact. I want to see if I can freeze a few of them. Nope. Oh yeah, those things- Oh god. Their hearts are going in a line. That's four of them down. Or three, rather. Stell's out of the way. Uh, hopefully. Alright, uh, Art. What are you guys weak to? Oh, you guys are resistant to all magic. Here's an idea. Let's just move. <gasps> Plasma wave. Move. No one got hit there. Good. Flicker. Alright, uh... Shoot him down. I think this is our first time seeing that in action. Let's go with La Tira. That gets everyone involved. And Joshua, please hang in there. My Tim. Joshua. <gasps> oh, Tira. Sorry, Zen. Cloak and dagger, can't get them, great. Art, that's um, arrow storm. Oh yeah. Petrify powder. Take this, arrow storm. Self-destruct. Art. No. Sniper shot. Oh, and it uh, got him a delay. Hey, you know what? Comet. Not as much EXP, but definitely a good amount of Sapeth. We got a Gladiator Headband. Didn't we already get one of those? Back for more. Yeah, from the, um... The guy. Yeah, this is our second one. Eh. Uh, actually, n let's eat up. Uh, Joshua's the only one who's been taking damage. Sorry. Sorry about that. Let's investigate further. Continuations. 
You better let me go to that chest. That was bizarre. Also, seriously, you better let me near that chest. Staircase. Uh, I'm already getting frustrated. What the hey? What was with that, that series of rooms? Alright, seriously, I... Not a fan of, uh... Oh, hello. You're our target, huh? Let's fight. Four of them. Oh, great. Uh, ice. Let me guess. Beat the fire. Flare arrow. And... Flare arrow. I think they can't move very far. Uh, yeah. Heart. Fire bolt. Ooh, there we go. Burn. Flare arrow. Not doing as much as I'd hope. Max guard. There we go. And there's it. Oh no, nope. Zin's frozen. Don't you guys dare. Let's see, 773. There we go. Hang in there, Zen. Alright, Art. La Tira. And you can use Quick Draw. Beat them at their own game, I'd hope. Heal. Kill it. That was tougher than I thought it was going to be. Man, look at that Earth Sepus. Lucky Fang 2. Cured of Horn. And we finished it. Actually, no, this is our second last. Past me doesn't know what he's talking about, okay? Hello? So does that connect the east and west? I don't remember being able to access that stairwell. Let's find out. Yep. Now the east and west are connected. Uh, let's try and find a way to get more chests. Because, uh, I'd like that very much. Oh, here's one. Uh, monsters. Okay, so a good tip about the mold things. Uh, they can apparently insta-kill. Because they did that to Joshua. He had plenty of health. He shouldn't have been that weak to them, but uh, he went down. Uh, yeah. And of course it moved. Good lord, when's our next turn? Alright, uh, another stone impact for these guys. Art. Firebolt EX. Uh, 
You move from one circle to another. <clears throat> Good, I missed. All right, art, arrow storm. Get everyone. They're all congregating to one space. That one's gonna be left out of the massacre. Probably out of all of them. Yeah, seriously. Booyah. Oh, did I aim for that thing? Okay. And finish those two off. A boo, a yeah. All right, uh, so they're targeting me. So uh, let's see. Craft. Go on the evil eye. That looks like something from Yu-Gi-Oh. Plasma wave. Ow. Okay, hang in there, guys. Let's get rid of this thing. All right, as for Olivier, We'll go for... Uh, not close enough. Stun impact? Nope. Alright, uh, single targeting... Flare arrow. Estelle... Hail. Here goes one. Tira. Oh, that was mighty helpful. Uh, three of us are in the way. I'm just gonna move. Why not? Split up so that they can't always... That I can't always target all of us. Still should be good. Shadow Spear. And... Flare Arrow. Yes! Boom! Oh, that's Epis. Found a Cestus. That is... That is... I'm betting that is a weapon. Yeah, if it wasn't a weapon, I would cry foul. Sweet. You look familiar. So we still need to get to that one. So it's probably a matter of going up and around. 